Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to a close-up review. This one is of the Tea Leaf Fortune Cards from Ray Hepburn, illustrated by Shauna Alexander. So these cards, I have to say, this is a really cool deck because it's so different than any other decks that are out there and it is so fun. I was playing with these last night and I realized I never showed them on the channel. So this is going to be a real in-depth uh, review. I'll show you all the cards. I'm also going to show you how I store it. I'm going to show you at the end how to do the various readings uh, that she illustrates in the book. So I'm going to show all that. You can skip around, but I'll definitely show you everything what's in here. Um, these are so cool. So let's just describe, you know, first tea leaf readings have gone back for eons and eons and eons. It probably was like the first way that people read fortunes, what's going to happen. Um, thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago, people, and it's still, they do it now, reading tea leaf reading, where you drink tea with the loose leaves in the, in the teacup, you turn over the cup, uh, and then you read the patterns that are left on the cup. Um, this is so amazing. I always was so intrigued by this, the tea leaf reading and the coffee cup readings that you see to read the patterns in the cup. So what Ray Hepburn did, before I even show you the cards, is she took all those symbols of what you read the, in the cup and she made cards. Now, knowing that there's probably like 500, 600 symbols that you could possibly read on the bottom of a teacup, she took the painstaking um, method of combining, getting rid of kind of redundant or repeating symbols or meanings and put it all in one card. So she got it all down to 182 symbols in here. So what I'm going to show you, there are 200 cards that come in here um, that are going to be 182 symbols of the actual pattern symbol of the bottom of a teacup. And then she gives astral houses and she gives um, the coming year, months. So the remaining 18 cards that make up the 200 is either months of the year or the house, where which area is being affected. So I'm going to show you how you can do various readings of like what is happening in your month, in the months, uh, a year, a month, and then also if you just want to focus in on a particular house, what astral house is being affected and learn how to read what's happening within that house. So I'll show you all that, but I thought that was so amazingly clever to reduce everything that you could possibly read in a tea leaf, tea leaf reading, the patterns into 200 cards, 182 symbols. So let me show you how I store them because that's why I was going elaborating on that. You open on the box and it opens, just flip open. It is going to come with, first, let me just show you an amazing guidebook. You will learn about tea leaf reading in the very beginning. She will show you how people actually see the patterns, reading the patterns. If you ever want to try an actual tea leaf reading, she'll show you how to do it. In here, illustrating how you put the loose leaves in, you boil the hot water, you pour it in, you drink as much as you can with just a little liquid remaining. Then you turn the coffee, you swirl it around, you turn the coffee, uh, the tea, cup over on the saucer and then you read the patterns. I just find this so amazing. And she tells you the whole history, she tells you how to do it, then she gives you all the ways to do the actual readings in here for the coming year, the coming month, if you want to do an astral house pyramid, all the readings. And I'm going to show you how to do some of these readings at the very end of this. So with that in mind, let me show you how I store it in here. So all of, she gives you a bag that's empty and the cards are just stacked in the two squares. I keep all the actual tea cards, there are 182 key cards that are, I'm going to take them out and show you. I keep them in the bag, the 182 symbols of the patterns on the teacup. These are the cards, 182 of them. I'll take them out of the bag, but I store them in the bag. Then separately, I have the cards for the coming year, all the 12 the circle cards for running of the month. So we have January all the way through December. Here are the 12 cards here. And then I keep the houses here. So you have the house of success, the house of love, the house of wealth, the house of career, the house of marriage, the house of happiness. So she broke down the subject matters of what you might want to do a reading on into these six cards. So six and 12 is 18 and then the rest of the 200 cards or so 182 are these tea leaf okay so I'm gonna take this out 
and at the end I'll show you a sample of how because you can't really shuffle these round cards so I advise keeping it in the bag and then you pick your cards from the bag because there's no way to really shuffle these cards whoopsie these tea leaf cards so that's how I do it. And I wanted to show you how I do it because it's very organized. I'm a little anal. Like, I'm a very organized person. I have to have everything making sense. So I wanted to show you how I store it so it's very easy to use each and every time they're all ready. So these are your tea leaf cards, right? So these are 182 cards in here. Oh my gosh, wait till you see. I just think this is the coolest thing. Okay, so they're circle cards. So each card... So, if on the bottom of a teacup you see an ink pot, right? This is the illustration, but it's going to look like an ink pot within the bottom of the teacup um, when you do a reading ink pot. And so, you can instantly get a reading for yourself. Problems to be resolved. That's what it means, okay? A jug is lighthearted, carefree time. You have a horseshoe. Good luck. You have a horse. Short journey. I'm telling you, this is going to be a long, a long video. Um, just grab a cup of tea if you need. Why don't you grab a I think I should have had a cup of tea while I do this. Hills, obstacles to overcome. Hand, in need of help, assistance, and guidance. It's just so cool to me. And at the end, I'll show you how to do the various readings. Um, again, you can always fast forward if you get the deck and you just want to see how the reading part. But I want to show you with these cards. I find it so cool I find the whole this deck just really cool that this could be created this way handshake a meeting with a stranger could be important a harp great happiness a hat is you will be playing a different role oopsie oh look at the heart haystack karma you will reap what you have sown haystack a heart love Deep affection and caring. Look at how precious these images are too. It's really a key. Oopsie, I'm gonna lose my a key. Successful outcome to your problems. Yeah. Vacation is kite. Not unsuccessful plans. A ladder climbing towards success. Leg stepping into a new experience love these lightning control your anger or you will be sorry lily spiritual love a lion time to act lobster financial pinch man dealings or relationship with a man mice discord among friends or family i just find it fascinating i mean i always was so fascinated i gotta pick these up a little at a time it's hard to hold them all even that's why the bag that's why i showed you how i do it um money path a path with money is waiting for you to find it oh my gosh then you have carriage i got this last night a journey either physical or mental i love seeing the meanings like i was always curious carrot opportunity or windfall box you will receive a gift kangaroo unexpected times need to plan ahead unsettled times need to plan ahead <clears throat> nest an emotionally secure loving family is important to you an older man dealings or relationship with an older man older woman dealings or relationship with an older woman owl good advice from a wise person Pale, time to get out of a situation. Parrot, someone will gossip about all your secrets. Yikes. Peacock, beware of great pride. Pig, beware of greed. Pin, new job, career. Pineapple, reconciliation. Purse, pay attention to your finances. Rainbow, the most difficult part of a situation is over. Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. Rat, someone working against you behind your back. A ring, a marriage will take place, either romantic or business. Ooh. Ah, oh, butterfly, a change for the better. Camel, persevere and you will overcome problems. Caskets, 
someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. A cat is a two-faced friend. Caterpillar, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. Chain, chain of events that will affect your life. Chair empty, someone is leaving your life. Chair filled, someone new is entering your life. Club, someone will try to make you make you do something against your will. Cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. Coins, money will be coming to you. Cracked cup, dissatisfaction with life. A dog is protection from a powerful friend. Dogs getting together with friends. Dog barking, advice from a friend. Dog close up, pleasure with a close friend. Dog far away is a distant friend is thinking of you. A dolphin is financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. A dragon is beware of self delusion. An eagle is triumph over troubles and obstacles. And that was 11 11 on the video when I said the eagle triumph over troubles and obstacles. I don't know why, but that's a message for all of us. Ear, good news. Door, opportunities are waiting for you. Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Desk, pay attention to your work. Broom, new home, new attitude. Dark woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. A bull is do not back down from opposition, show strength and fortitude. An egg, success assured with good plans and hard work. Elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser in the end. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. A frying pan, trouble, accusations. Funnel. Period of frustration, lessons to be learned. Gavel, involvement with the law. Goldfish, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. I find these so interesting. Gong, an exciting event. Grapes, time to go out and have fun. Grasshopper, situations in the balance that require careful handling. Hammock. Taking a vacation physically or mentally. Hang in there with me. <laughs> Aren't these so adorable? I mean, I always was fascinated with tea reading, coffee cup readings. I find it so amazing. I feel like now I have insight of what they're looking at when they look at the coffee cup and looking at the patterns. I mean, I always was really amazed by this. Um, bird perched, waiting for news, package, letter. Bird flying, news is on the way. You have a boat, money or prosperity through an inheritance, winning, or windfall. Yes. We have a bell, announcement, beetle, good fortune. We have the moon is changes in your life. The quill, get back to the basics. A rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. It's interesting what they mean too. Tent, temporary situation. Bowl. Plenty of material things. The wall. Misunderstanding. A wedge. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. Weeping willow. Family sorrow. The well. Hold on a second. The well is family wishes coming true. And these images are so gentle in the middle too. Whale. Great worry over nothing. The wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Wind chimes, peace and harmony. Wishbone, a wish is granted. A woman, dealings or relationships with a woman. Reef, sorrow over a loss. A yoke is feeling tied down or frustrated. A younger man, dealings or relationship with a younger man. Younger woman. Dealing with your relationship with a younger woman. Angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. An ant, work, achievement, success. An apple, temptation, will test you. 
archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. An arrow, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. I love these images too. Axe, forces working against you. A bag, something important such as a new job or a raise. A barrel, you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. A basket, recognition, reward for merit. A bat, take care, enemies are working against you. A bear, danger, especially in money matters. Ooh. Candle, you will be shown the way. I like that. Pay attention to your health as a king. Crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. We have a beard. Beard. A period of prosperity and abundance. Oh, bet a bread, a beard, bread. I was like bread. Period of prosperity and abundance. Bridge successfully overcoming a problem. We have a broken bridge, which is unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Vine, seek out information that will help you. A vulture is depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. A four-leaf clover, I got that last night. Great good fortune. Who doesn't want that? Clouds, temporary problems. A claw is be careful, do not take risks. A crown, yes, honor and respect will come to you. A cup, you should expect, accept valid criticism. That's interesting. Dagger, fear, worries, tense situations. A dark man, dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. We have a mountain. Major challenge to overcome. Mountain road, you are on the road to success. A mule, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Stubborn as a mule. Needle and thread, a sincere wish will be granted. Oh, I love that. I feel like I'm getting into the inner secrets of what these are. I was so curious. Uh, rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Rose, romance is in the air. Scales, keep your life in balance. I love the images, they're so precious. Scissors, disappointment in some affair. Seahorse, family matters. A shark, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Shield, you need to defend yourself. Skull, hidden secrets can harm you. Spear, heartache over what you no longer have. Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. A star, guaranteed success. A stork, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. The sun, happiness and well-being. Oh, I love that sun card. Sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. I love that. Table, hard work ahead. Tankard, celebration, fun, enjoyment. Target, a goal-oriented person. Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Teardrops, great personal sorrow. Throne, position of authority. Tiger, doing something risky, taking a chance. Torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. Tower, solid foundation, success with effort. Tree, affairs with your family. A tulip is great passion. A turkey is someone is behaving stupidly. Turkey, your turkey. Unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Oh, I love this. We have, what is this? V, victory in some endeavor. Lovely. Valley, deep personal strength and peace that assure success. A base is secret admirer. A boot is increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Bouquet, compliments from an admirer. We have a bow, which is you are highly thought of. You have a broken ring, and that is parting of the ways in either romance or business. We have broken wishbone. Ooh, wish will not be granted. 
We have the eye, which is psychic ability. Trust your intuition. Fair man, dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. Fair woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Fan, romance, celebration, party. Oh, I like that. Feather, someone you know is independable and insincere. Finger, warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. Fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Excitement is the firecracker. Flag, do not be tempted to lower your standards. Flowers, happiness. The flute is disappointment in a friend or lover. Fly is a period of ill health, depression. And the last one is forest, muddled, unclear thinking. So interesting. So these are the backs of, this was 182 actual tea leaf symbols, right? And that's why I put them in that bag because you can't really shuffle 182 cards. Then they have the dates, 12 days of the week, January going to December, and this will be this color. So let me just show you. These are the tea leaf messages. These are the days of the month here. And then the astral houses, you have six houses, which is going to give you, again, success, love, wealth, career, well, let me show you. Success, it has this picture. Love has this picture. Wealth, career, marriage, and happiness. So this, and the backs of the cards are this. This is the, considered the astral house. This is considered the actual months of the year. And then this is the actual tea leaf messages. So with the 200 cards, just so you know what you get, you get 182 of the actual tea leaf symbols. The astral houses will have six and of course 12 months of the year. Um, so 182 of these. So what they, what, how she does it is you can actually, months of the year, you can put these all in a circle and you do a whole year forecast. Or what you can do is pick, say if you wanna do, I'm gonna show you how to do a reading, say for August, okay? If you just wanna do August, you would take this out, and I'm gonna show you how you can get a reading for August. What you can also do in a separate me reading, if you wanna do, say, um, a, career, a career reading, or a love reading, there's a, a certain way to do those readings. So first I'm gonna do, let's do August, okay? And then I'll show you a house reading, where you're doing a house reading. But say you wanna get a reading for August. So again, I put, this is when I put these 182 cards back in this back in this bag because you can't shuffle the cards. So she gives you this bag, that's why I had it in there and I wanted to show you how I do this. So say for the for the house for the um for the month reading, you pick four cards. So you put your hand in the bag and feel for for you're going to pick four cards. I'm just going to do this really quick. And you line them up like this. 1 2 Three, four. Oh, we have too many. Three. Which one wants to go? Okay. So we have four cards here. So for August, let's see what the tea leaf symbol is. So you, that's how you, she, she puts it. One, two, three, four, like that. So the first one, message for August. Ah, oh, we have the sun, happiness, and well-being. And I literally posted that spirit pick-me-up message, the direct spirit message, rise up like the sun, rise up with all you are and shine right now. Um, and we're be, to be empowered and do that. Um, and so feel that way, feel like you are the sun, literally rise up every day and shine in the fullness of who you are. Um, that was coming through with a direct spirit message and we got the sun for the first card. This is happiness, this is well-being. So the sh sun is shining brightly on you in August. Um, let's see what the second message would be. And we have the stork. Oh my God, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. You can't make this up. Every reading for August was greet the new, greet the new, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. You could have new things to work on. We kept on getting the high priestess at work. You're being empowered to move on and seize the new opportunities. And we have target. We have target, a goal oriented person, probably ourselves. We're making the steps and zoning in on what we need to hit. And sunrise, how beautiful. 
new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. I'm telling you, these are really on target. You'd be surprised. We started with the sun. We have sunrise. This is empowerment going forward on happiness, on creative new ideas, jobs, things to work on. This is so in line with every single message I'm reading I've posted for August. Um, new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. Greet every day with new endless possibilities. Seize the new, work on the new. Um, and the sun is shining brightly on you and all your efforts. So stay uplifted. There could be really good news and hitting the mark on projects and things you're doing. Wow, wow, wow. So that was August. So now, see if you wanted to get, um, should we do happiness? I don't know what we should do. Should we do love? Should we do wealth? Should we do wealth? Um, um, I'm trying to see. Like, if you wanted to do a house, um, should we do happiness? Because we had, we had the sun. I don't know what we should do. Should we do love? Should we do career? Should we do success? Um, let's just do happiness. Okay, let's just do a reading on our happiness. So here, how you do a reading. See, let me move this up. And this is so beautiful for our overall happiness. What are the messages? So we have, um, we got two, you put two cards here. I'm showing you how to do a reading. Then you put, you put three cards here. And on the bottom, it's almost like a pyramid. And then you put four cards on the bottom. So... One, two, three. I would do it. I'm doing it very quickly. But so it's for happiness, you would have two cards, three cards, and then four cards. So for the happiness, let's go real quick because I know it's getting long. Oh, we have bouquet. Compliments from an admirer. Could be getting compliments from an admirer. A boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Remember, we had target there. So you're getting compliments. Keep going forward to achieve your goals. We have unicorn. Oh my gosh. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. You know, they kept on saying we're the high priestess at work. They even made me say this during this reading. Use your intuition. It's showing you the way what to work on. And we have turkey. Uh oh, someone is behaving stupidly. Uh, there could be people that are testing your patience and your tolerance. We have victory is in some endeavor. Oh my gosh. You may be holding your own with these stupid people right here though. Okay, we have valley, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. We have the rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. Oh boy, what are you guys doing? And then we have wedge, someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. Oh, so there could be some obstacles, but we had the victory card and we had, you know, we could be having some obstacles with some stupid people. <laughs> Wall, a misunderstanding. There could be some miscommunication or something dealing with like turkeys, but you're keeping it moving. You're stomping on. There's like success here. You pay, uh, use your intuition to, for, to make beneficial changes. And we have victory. So this is like, I wanna say trumping this whole thing, victory in some endeavor to pay less mind to the turkeys. <laughs> um, but so I gave you a sample. This is for your month, and this is for when you want to do a house. Um, but I love, and I got to tell you, it's a cool deck. It's fun deck. You know, when you start dealing with it, it's really fun. So again, I put all the, the tea leaf messages in here, and then I open up the box, um, and I put all the houses and all the, I put, I keep the houses and the months here, and then I stick these in here, and I kind of balance them in so they go in, but they're still in the bag. Like the tea leaf messages are right in the bag, and it will close, but I'm showing you how I do it. So then it's ready to have the tea bag messages, and then you have, like a tea bag. It's like a real tea bag, you know, when you put leaves in a tea bag. Anyway, um, and then I keep the, um, the houses and the months here. So I gotta tell you, this is so fun. And like I said, it's so different than anything else I have, you know, with Tarot and Oracle. Tea leaf fortune cards from Marie um, Hepburn, no doubt a lot of work went in here to, com to consolidate what the messages could be on cards because they're so actually hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. And so to figure out what you can condense into one, um, I know she mentioned in the book that, you know, there are a couple of um, symbols for temptation. So she narrowed that down to an apple because that's more widely known, um, things like that. So 182 of the actual tea bag, uh, tea messages, um, messages, and then you have the 12 months of the year, and then you have the six 
houses, the six areas of your house, the astral houses of what you could do. Um, so here, and I showed you the two different kinds of readings, but this is a tea leaf uh, fortune cards from Ray Hepburn, and this was illustrated by Shauna Alexander, and very cool and very fun. I have to say it's a very fun deck only because it's so different. And as you saw, this was really on point. You know, it looks like it won't be on point for some reason, but I have to tell you, I mean, this is what came out in my uh, spirit pick-me-up readings, my spirit readings, my weekly readings, my monthly readings, especially for August. Uh, we got the sun. All the direct spirit messages that I've been posting to the channel has been like, rise up like the sun, feel empowered. It's shining on your efforts right now. Keep it moving. Um, all of this and um, go for the new as well. We're part of the creations, co-creations. So this is just really surprisingly on target too. So I wanted to say that it is on target um, and fun. It, there is an element of fun here because it's different. It's, it is different. And I love, I always was so intrigued with tea leaf readings, coffee cup readings, when people read the saucer and the cup and I'm like, what are they looking at? What are they looking at? I don't see it, <laughs> you know? So I love to have that. I feel like this was a secret that, you know, have been communicated through this deck. It includes 200 round cards, a 98 page guidebook. She will go into depth on how to do those readings. Um, describe how, if you even want to do a, re a real tea leaf reading and try a, a real tea leaf reading, she shows you how to do it, um, what the steps are, how you scroll it around, how you turn it over, all of that. I really appreciate this deck. This was a real um, insight into how it's how it's done and I love how it opened up a whole new world of tea leaf reading through cards. I found that really cool and like I said really fun and once you start it's almost like then you start with one house then you want to do the other house or you did August now you might want to do September I mean because it, it's there's a fun to this there's a fun to this that's different than other decks so you kind of go you could spend hours with this um, so very fun uh, very unique and very cool and uh, so this has been my close-up review of the tea leaf fortune cards, Ray Hepburn, and beautiful. All right, take care. Bye-bye.